Number 41, predict which compound in each of the following pairs of compounds is more acidic and explain your reasoning for each. So in this case, we have to figure out which one out of these two compounds is more acidic, pH3 or HI. Well, first we have to identify what types of acids we're looking at. There's two types, basically, in a gen chem. There's binary acids, and then there's oxo acids. Binary acids is when you have just a single uh, hydrogen. I don't want to say single, actually. I just want to say when you see a hydrogen element, and then you see another element. Basically, the idea is that you can only have two elements total, and one of them has to be a hydrogen. So this one is a binary acid. It does not matter whether you have H2 or H3. It just matters that you have a hydrogen and another element. And that's what's going on here. For pH3, I have hydrogen and phosphorus, two elements. For HI, I have hydrogen and iodine, two elements. Does not matter how many hydrogens I have for each, it's just the different letterings. So we're doing binary acid trends. Now, binary acids will increase as you go down a group. So if we had to pinpoint where these elements are, just keep in mind that when you do your binary acid trend, hydrogens are the same between the two acids, so you don't look at those elements. You look at the other ones. So you're going to look at where phosphorus is and where iodine is. And if we look on the periodic table, phosphorus is somewhere, let's just say, you know, let's just place the phosphorus up top here. But then in uh, respect to uh, uh, phosphorus, iodine is like somewhere over here, right? Maybe we'll go like this. And the decrease, even though they're not in the same group and they're not in the same period, right? They're kind of diagonal to each other. If you see this, the increase downward is way more. Um, well, actually, technically, you will increase on both ends. You'll increase as you go to the left and you increase dropping down. I only showed the drop down here because I wanted to kind of get it with what the reasoning was here. But this one, if you're clearly just going down, you're going to be a higher acid also. Take note that HI, hi, HI is one of your six strong acids. pH3 didn't make the list. So it's because of this trend that iodine would be more acidic than phosphorus, so HI is more acidic. Now, if we wanted to give more of a reasoning, we would look at the atomic radius. Now, P is over here. Iodine is over here, right? And as you drop down on the periodic table, your radii for your elements are going to get so big. So for atomic radius, I don't even look at the decrease going from left to right because the increase from top to bottom overpowers the drop in, uh, decrease, uh, in radius from left to right. So in this case... If we just said that phosphorus was like the size of this, right? Iodine would have to be way bigger because as you go down, the radius is going to get so much bigger. So if that's the case, let's just say that iodine is huge, right? And here's HI. And the phosphorus has to be smaller. So this would be like pH 3. I'm only going to draw one bond with a hydrogen. So let's just say that here's the hydrogen, right? And then here's the other hydrogen. The hydrogen have to be the same size. But if you look at the bond length between the hydrogen and the phosphorus, as opposed to the hydrogen and the iodine, it seems like the bonds between pH3 are closer. There's a closer bond, right? There's a tight bond closer bond. These bonds between H and I, these are not as close. They're, we'll say, longer. And the idea of an acid is that you want to get rid of that hydrogen very, very, very quickly. Do you think that this hydrogen in pH 3 would want to get lost? No. Think of it as friendships. If you have a close bond with somebody, you would be devastated if they just left your life. 
right? And the hydrogen's going away. So if this hydrogen goes away, the phosphorus is going to be so upset. But if you have not a close bond and the hydrogen wants to leave, iodine's like, okay. <laughs> okay, see you later. I don't really care. <laughs> but that's the idea here is that the bigger the radius, not as much attachment is going on between the two elements. And it makes the hydrogen easier to be donated, aka lost. So it's because also iodine has a larger radius. And because iodine has the larger radius, it doesn't have a strong bond with hydrogen. So once the hydrogen gets donated, the iodine's okay. It's not as devastated as the phosphorus would be. And that's it. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel and tell your friends, tell your classmates about this channel. Thank you so much for that. See you guys all later. Bye-bye.